For four and a half years, the Caribbean Local Economic Development Carolid Project partnered with Belize to implement a number of projects to drive economic activities, targeting micro, small, and medium-sized enterprises with a direct benefit to Belizean households. Hundreds of thousands of dollars were invested through infrastructural projects and technical expertise in Belize City, Belmopan, San Pedro, and San Ignacio and Santa Elena towns. We work directly with local governments, municipal authorities, in building their capacity to promote economic development in towns and cities across Belize. So what does this mean? For us, it has meant that we have worked with them for them to recognize their importance or, or the role they can play in stimulating economic activity. Stimulating economic activity in the sense of being facilitators and enablers, creating a space where businesses can thrive, they can grow or they can start. So the strategic plan not only reflects the vision of the municipal government, but it also reflects the vision of the residents, different stakeholder groups that were consulted during the process. And it brings together the energy of the people to promote economic development in these areas. So from these strategies is where we, demo we identified demonstration projects, um, which Carol led supported financially, but not only financially, but also with technical expertise. So in total, um, across four municipalities, Carolet has invested about $800,000 Belize in different projects. Some of these projects include enhancement from stalls to markets to parks. Different projects in San Ignacio and Santa Elena contributed to skill development for women and even a loan program for small businesses. And central to these Carolet projects were partnership and sustainability. Mayor Earl Trapp says these projects have changed the lives of the beneficiaries in his towns. They have helped the women's crocheting group in um, a community right within the periphery of San Ignacio as well. And that has certainly gone a long way as these women have been, they have been able to go on their own as, um, as, as, as businesses, private businesses. No? So they're producing um, arts, crafts souvenirs that, that tourists can come and purchase. And that was very much needed, um, stimulating the local economy. As well, I can tell you that um, another big project that we launched in October of last year was the Farabal Loan Program. And this came about with financing from the council, from Carilead, and of course, St. Martin Credit Union, who um, at the end of the day, they do the final vetting for loans, and these are to help entrepreneurs. And um, this project, gives up to a maximum of 5,000 Belize dollars loan. It's a soft loan, and this is just for a startup capital for their businesses. So you've had little small businesses starting as a result of this? Yes, cer certainly, and um, I'm very much happy because many of these businesses that have started, they were like people that used to come to the council for assistance. Mm -hmm. Now these people have gone independent, and not only independent, but they have gone as far as um, basically um, creating creating more jobs for, for the people in San Ignacio and Santa Elena. Another municipality with big success through the Carolet project is Belize City. Carolet contributed to the economic aspect of BTL Park, where small businesses have been established and jobs created, all of which have spawned additional social and economic benefits directly and indirectly. Carolet, because it's geared towards local economic development, came in with the funding support to build the boots, to provide training, equipment and so forth for the vendors. And we have been working very well over the last three years. There are 28 businesses that are out there. There's a total of about 156 people who are employed in the park. You have some of the businesses who employ as much as eight people. Most of them are small businesses, family owned, so that I really laud the success of that because you're speaking about economic development which translate into social opportunity for people, social mobility. That's 28 businesses, that's 28 families that are impacted. They contributed very significantly to the economic potential and growth of Belize City. We actually did a study likewise to look at the amount of procurement that the park vendors, uh, the, the amount of supplies that they buy from from the Belize City uh, community, and it's a significant amount, so that I think on a whole it has been a huge, huge success. And to ensure that these successes are not just for the short term, each municipality has committed to the sustainability of the projects. Each municipality, what they have done really is to 
have a person on staff that is dedicated to local economic development. So each one of the municipalities that we work with have a lead officer on staff. We have two of our municipalities which have extended from one officer to actually have a department. The role of their department is really to implement the strategic plan, to forge partnerships, to identify potential partners for implementing some of these initiatives and really to ensure that these things get done. Another thing is that municipal authorities have now recognized the importance of including um, a budget for local economic development. As we heard today, it's more of moving away or recognizing and committing to municipal services, but adding to that the mandate of creating an enabling environment for business development and economic empowerment. Reporting for News 5, I'm Andrea Polanco.